hello hey hey y'all um definitely why i always got a clear space I, I swear it seems like i got a clear space like every day every time i record i just might as well just take the video off my phone oh lord how i'm gonna get up out of here how i'm gonna get up out oh i'm gonna get up out of here oh y'all gonna do me like that can you scoot up just a little bit no all right well shit they hoeing me at Starbucks per usual. Is it a car behind me? You know what? All y'all make me sick. All of y'all. Okay. 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 This is what we not gonna do. Come on, sir, so I can go on that side, because she dumb. What the hell? Why is Starbucks so packed on this good Sunday? Shit. Hey, y'all. Hey, hey. Now, what's going on? It's Black History Month, and I'm out here cutting up. Hmm? I'm cutting up for Black History Month. I'm waiting to cuss a white person out. I do that every day anyway. Uh, <laughs> I be waiting to cuss a white person out every day anyway. Um, so y'all know it's Black History Month. I'm black, 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 all kind of black. So I was like, why not talk about it? It's Black History Month. Like, duh, it's the best month ever, other than September, Virgo season. Um, so here's the thing, dear black people, this is what we're not gonna do. We're not going to sit here for the whole month and complain about just having one month. Can we please stop doing that? That's what we're not going to do. So you're going to waste the whole month of black history where you could be dropping gems. You could be posting about a different black history legend icon every day. Like something I still don't know what I'm going to do and it's already the sixth. And I still have not came up with my black history idea yet. I got so many different ideas. And I just don't know which one I'm going to do yet. But <clears throat> what you're not going to do is spend a whole month talking about how we only get one month. We, we, we been had one month. And we barely got that one. <laughs> like, we been, this ain't nothing that just happened last year. Like, why are you wasting the month complaining that it's only one month? I get it, okay? They limit us to a month. I get where you're coming from. They limit you to a month. They don't limit me to a month. I talk about black history, black people, black everything, black lives, and the importance of black lives, black equality, justice. I talk about all that all the time, all throughout the year. So they ain't in charge of nothing to me. You are in charge of you. If you choose to only celebrate it one month out of the year, that's on you. But what we not going to do is complain and complain and complain about how they only give us one month out of the year. What difference does it make? So that means you not celebrating black history throughout the year. Okay, yes. According to society, we only have February. According to Miranda's life, I got every day because I wake up black, I go to sleep black, I was born black, and when I die, I'ma still be black. Stop. Stop it with the complaining. I can't do it. I can't take it. It's, it's pointless to me. I think it's stupid. We are black history. Like, I don't understand. Like, I, I don't understand. And for people who pull it out during Black History Month, that's cool. Everybody ain't like me where they gonna talk about the shit every day or majority of the year or whatever the case may be. That just ain't everybody's thing. But, um, stop it with the complaining. I, I, I'm I sick of it. I'm sick. I don't want to see it. Okay, if I see it, I'm unfollowing your ass on social media. It's that serious. Because I don't understand. It's like, be, be happy. Can we just celebrate? Can we just be happy? Black people have so many reasons to be upset. Like, so many reasons to be upset. 
and I get it. Trust me, I get it. If don't nobody else get it, I do. And if you don't think I get it, that means you ain't subscribed to this channel and you need to go back and watch my videos. That's what that means. I don't know why I'm so dark on y'all though like that. Like I'm, I can't see myself. And I think it's because my brightness got turned down. But I get it. We, we got a lot to complain about. But can we just not complain about everything? Like can we just be happy about stuff? Like do y'all know how phenomenal we are? Like, can we just celebrate our greatness instead of being bitter all the time? Like, it's okay to talk about racism and go off and do crazy shit like I do. That's cool. But at the same time, I, we celebrating greatness. Okay? We got to keep a balance. We got to keep a balance. You can't just be all complaints and no action. All negativity and no positivity. I, I just, I, mm -mm, mm -mm. I can't get with it. I don't like it. I can't get with it. I think it's stupid. I can't agree with it. So this Black History Month, what we 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 just gonna chill? <laughs> we just let's just chill, okay? Let's let's just chill and have our month, okay? And then when February is over, keep talking about it. Keep talking about Black History Month when February is over. Ain't nobody stopping you. Freedom of speech. You got a platform. Use it. I don't understand. Like, damn, boy. Do y'all think it, the MLK just talk in February? <laughs> like, did he just pick one month out of the year to talk and protest and, and do everything that he was out here doing for us? Like, no, he kept going and going and going. And so did Malcolm X and all the other black pioneers that are out there or that were out there that left their legacy for us to continue. They didn't quit. So why do we quit? Huh? We got to keep going. We got to keep fighting. We're not going to sit here and complain. Like, a lot of people had to com had complained about the Juneteenth shit and about how now they, like, some people were saying, oh, now they want to just give us a little day or throw us a little day, a little federal holiday. There they go throwing holidays at us again. Look, man, look. Just keep celebrating it like you've been celebrating it. The only difference is you might not have to go to work. God damn, you just... I, people just find so much to complain about and it be us it be us and we have rights to fuss about shit and make a big deal about shit trust me but can we just not all the time like can we just chill like they cancel culture shit you driving slow than a motherfucker like a motherfucker like you driving real slow like this cancel culture shit that's why you driving slow because you trying to get on I can't get with the cancel culture. I cannot get with this little cancel culture shit. I, I don't think I can get with anything this generation. I think that's what it is. I just, I don't, I guess because I was raised by my grandmother, so I was raised old school. Y'all already know I ain't got no filters because, baby, I'm, I'm nervous for myself in this new cancel culture age because... I just might get canceled because one day I'm going to be real big, 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 and my voice is going to be on a lot of things, and I just might say something crazy. Now, if it's offensive, that's different. Anything racist, homophobic, I, I can't, that's different. I can't fuck with that shit. Uh, abuse and, uh, and uh, sex abuse, sexual assault, domestic violence, all that stuff that I can't get into. That's different. There's a difference between being malicious and just saying some shit. Especially when it comes to comedians. Like, comedians are comedians. It's a joke. Most times, this shit is a joke. It's, mad, it's to make you laugh. You know a comedian gonna say some fucked up shit. But gone are the days where comedians can say whatever the fuck they wanted and not get canceled. Kevin Hart. Dave Chappelle. They got something to say about everything. That's why I fuck with D.L. Hughley. That's why I fucks with D.L. Hughley. D.L. Hughley is a real one. He keep it real and he a comedian and he don't give a fuck. He don't care about what he say. That's me. That's me. Because I watch his interviews and he talks about the cancel culture thing too. And it's another thing, like even like Natalie said it before. If you don't like what somebody say, don't watch that person. Like if you don't like what I say, you don't have to watch my videos. Yes, I want you to like, comment, and subscribe. But if you don't like what I'm saying, 
you don't have to watch it. I don't like reality TV, so I don't watch reality TV. But this whole canceling people, this is stupid. Like, it didn't got to the point where we done named this shit. Cancel culture? Look up the word culture. Look up the definition of the word culture. Y'all are comparing culture to cancellation. How does that make sense? Canceling somebody is its own culture now? I don't I don't understand. Like, wh why is this happening? Why are we doing this? This is so stupid. Like, don't get me wrong. I feel like R, R. Kelly did some fucked up shit. He did some horrible, 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 horrible shit. <laughs> I, he did. Like, I, as an abuse survivor, I have to... He did some horrible shit. I don't agree with what he did. I think he's a very disgusting individual. And he needs help. I feel like he really needs help. Like, he needs medical help in his head. But at the same time, my nigga made some hits, though. Like, <laughs> he's been a bullshit child. I'm not finna lie to y'all and tell y'all I don't listen to R. Kelly. I'm lying. That would be a lie. That would be a lie. I still listen to R. Kelly, and I'm not gonna stop listening to R. Kelly. I'm not canceling R. Kelly. I cannot like somebody, but that don't mean I gotta cancel him. I'm still gonna listen to his shit. So y'all mean to tell me if y'all go to a wedding and step in the name of love don't come on, y'all don't get up. Y'all don't get up when step in the... It's step in the name of love. I'm playing it at my wedding. If you don't like it, don't come. Because another thing D.L. Hughley said when he was like, people were asking him, well, how can you listen to R. Kelly and Michael Jackson and this and it, knowing what they did? Well, how can you still say the national anthem? Huh? Hmm? We still say the national anthem, right? We still stand up for the national anthem, right? We still sing the national anthem, right? Oh, okay. I was just checking. I, I was just checking. Like, I, because last time I checked, this country done did way worse shit to black people than anybody combined. So, if we can still stand up, I don't stand up during the national anthem, me personally. I don't do it. If I have to, depending on where I'm at, I'm not saying the shit and I'm not putting my hand on my heart. Don't do all that. I don't fuck with it. But <clears throat> if you can still say the national anthem, but we still required or however or however it is. Come on, James. Come on, baby. With your with your fresh cut. Hey. Look at it. Get all his neighbors. I love my neighbors, goddammit. You know my nerves, but love them at the same time. Get all his. Um, but if we're going to say the national anthem or we're going to sing or say a whole bunch of other shit, like why we gotta cancel R. Kelly? I mean, come on now, cuz. <laughs> like if we cancel R. Kelly music and stop listening to his music, do you know how much music we have to stop listening to? Because y'all do realize R. Kelly wrote for a lot of artists, right? And another thing, my dad was a big fan. I'm gonna let them come in first. My dad was a big fan of R. Kelly. Um, Y'all know, if you know, you know, my dad is no longer here. R.I.P. to a real one. What? Oh, I'm going this way, pimp. I didn't know where you was going, dog. Oh, she old, so she don't know no goddamn better. Bitch, you could have turned. I be see, I be out here trying to do good, and people be fucking with me, and I don't like it. Um. Okay. So, my dad was a huge fan of R. Kelly. I grew up on Chocolate Factory. <laughs> like, if it wasn't country music, Time Marches On, some shit like that, it was it was R. Kelly. He damn near looked like him. Bald head, he looked like 12 play R. Kelly. Like, if it wasn't country music, it was R. Kelly. So, I grew up listening to that shit. And I'm sorry, but he got some hits. Like... I don't have to cancel him. Like, I can just not like what he did or not like him as a person and not agree with the shit that he did, but I don't have to cancel a goddamn thing. I don't feel like we should cancel people. How would you feel if somebody canceled you? It be them same motherfuckers that be trying to cancel people. Like, how would you feel if somebody canceled you? Like, put yourself in their shoes. Even if you might have said something messed up on accident or on purpose and they stop fucking with you, it's all canceled in. Cancel, they're canceled, they're canceled. How would you feel if somebody canceled you? 
How would you feel if your loved ones, your friends, your family, everybody was just like, oh, we ain't fucking with you no more. You canceled. And yes, it's a different situation because I'm talking family versus fans, but it don't matter. It still hurt. It still hit different. So this whole cancel shit, nah, I can't fuck with it. And in this Black History Month, I'm going to talk about it because I feel like black people, y'all need to stop doing that shit. Stop doing that shit. Stop. Don't do that. Stop with the complaining. Stop with the cancel culture shit. Just stop. I don't understand why people just can't live their own life and be them. If you don't like somebody, don't talk to them. Don't follow them. Don't like them. Don't listen to them. If you don't like something they said, don't listen to them. Tune it out. It's that simple. Ain't nobody holding a gun up to your head and asking you to listen to the shit. If you don't like it, it ain't for you. Now, if it's offensive, that's different. Don't say no offensive shit. But then people say racist shit all the time, and we still deal with that. All these white-owned Target is owned and operated by white folks, and I still go there faithfully. I support black businesses as well. Y'all still shop on Amazon, don't you? Y'all think Jeff Bezos ain't never said no racist shit before? I wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> y'all think y'all think he ain't never said no racist shit before, but I bet you still on Amazon. Y'all better quit playing with me. <laughs> y'all better quit quit playing with me, bro. Like, just stop. I I can't. I had to get that out because that shit had been working my nerves. Between people complaining, they only give us one month. They limited us to one month. That ain't da -da 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 -da. nigga. They not limited limiting you to shit. You limiting yourself to one month. Which they don't control shit. You you control your life and your environment. I'm a master of my fate, and I'm the type of nigga on the masters to my tapes. Hmm. Who limiting you? You don't let nobody limit. No, no, but nobody has that type of power to limit you. What? Limit who? Cause you definitely not gonna limit Miranda. Don't even try. Don't even do that. <laughs> you can't that ain't gonna work you gonna fail trying to limit me to anything nobody can limit you to a goddamn thing you can only limit yourself so while you may feel they limiting us limiting limited limited limited, limited, limited. i don't know y'all that was just me tongue twisted if you feel like they are limiting us to one month you got the wrong mindset you got the wrong mindset. You worried about the wrong thing. Take that same energy and put it into something positive, like actually talking about black history. Excuse me. One of my kids had to do a black history project. My baby, my four-year-old that I tutor. And she had Jack Johnson. No, I take that. Take that back. At first, she had Lisa Jalopter. Lisa Jalopter was the person who created the animation for GIFs. I don't know if it's GIFs or GIFs. I say that shit wrong every time. <clears throat> and she was the first black woman to have like a one million, raise one million in funding to uh, build her own tech company. One thing I had a problem with, she's half white. If you pull up her picture, she does not look black. And I did not agree with that. Because all of the people on that list that they gave pre-K four kids were people who created everything now, like online video games. Um, fucking one was a damn, I don't know. It was like modern day shit, like not washing machines, not, it wasn't Madam CJ Walker. It wasn't none of that. So I told her mama, no, I'm not, no, no. I want another person. <laughs> I'm not doing this. I'm not putting this half white ass lady on this Black History Month poster. I mean, shout out to her for what she did. But I don't know. I don't agree with that. Like, she is four years old. Can we find somebody else? I really want her to do Madam C.J. Walker. But can we find somebody else? And her mama agreed with me. So we called a teacher, and the teacher gave her Jack Johnson. Jack Johnson was a heavyweight boxer, born in Galveston, Texas. 
and he created the monkey wrench or he invented and got the patent for the monkey wrench which he created while he was in jail it's a whole story look it up do your research but he was the his invention was the monkey wrench and monkey was a racial slur so i preferred him because oh my god so cute if y'all hear her say jack johnson and i say what did he make the monkey and the wrench <laughs> i love my baby it's so cute but i just i was like why this is what we need to be doing like we really need to be posting and talking about it's so many people who are not recognized in black history whether it was then or whether it's now because i've been posting all my uh black women bosses on my social media I, we are black history even if you post somebody who is doing something good in the black community at one point i want to say it was either last year no i want to say it was either 2018 or 2019 102 promoted me for a whole month on the radio for black history month for doing extraordinary things in the community it's stuff like that like just celebrate your people and stop with all the complaining bullshit Stop complaining and stop trying to cancel everybody. Somebody gonna cancel your ass and see how you feel about it. And y'all can cancel me if y'all want to. But y'all ain't, because y'all love me too much. Anyway, I got work to do. Um, So I will holler at y'all in the next video. I just had to do a car check because I was going to run the Starbucks real quick. But I'm about to go over here to this office. I might record another video. I'm not sure. I got to see. I'm probably not just because I got so many in my phone. But let me think. It depends on how I feel. No, I'm not because I got work to do. And y'all always distracting me because I be trying to record these videos and I don't be getting no work done. So I'm just going to use what I got in my arsenal. Oh, y'all, I lost my, oh, I lost my USB that had all my vlog videos on it. And I wanted to cry. I found it. But I definitely cried for a minute. I did. I was hurt. All my vlog videos was on that USB and I could not find it. But thank the lord i found it see because he he wanted me to get it to y'all that's why he that's why he did that so i'm out this thing i will see y'all in the next video all right happy black history month <laughs> black lives matter bitch bye